Hello friends, Mr. Matt here. In today's video, I am going to teach you about a cue, and we're going to play a very fun game that is a story adventure revolving around one of my absolute favorite stories. So first, let's talk about a cue. What exactly is a cue? Well, we're not talking about the letter Q that you might find in, say, the alphabet, no. In theater, we spell Q C-U-E. That's C-U-E. A cue. And a cue is a message that tells you what to do or when to speak. And that's kind of specifically for theater. So for an example, as an actor, your cue might be visual. There might be a little red light that tells you when it goes on, oh, that's my cue to enter the stage and start acting. Or your cue might be auditory. It might be a line that another actor says that then tells you, whoop, well, that's my cue to speak. Yeah? So let's look at a real life example. You're walking down the sidewalk, it's a great day, and you see in the crosswalk that little box, and in that little box there is a light, and in that light there is a hand, and it is bright orange, and it is doing this. That is your cue to, very good, to stop. Now, let's say you get to that same little box of light in that crosswalk, and you see the little light up man, and he's doing this. That is your cue to go, very good. Now, this is, a, this is potentially controversial. You get to that stop sign, you get to that crosswalk, and you see the light, and the hand is doing this. It's blinking on and off. What is that your cue to? Yeah, very good. Proceed with caution. Excellent. Same as the yellow light. Controversial, controversial. Some people are like, you gotta run! And some people are like, I'm gonna take it easy, but you know what? That's up to you. That's a decision you have to make on your own. Anyway, that is a cue. And cues are very important to us in the world of theater as it gives us information as actors what to do. So, we are going to do a fun little game where we get to play with some of those cues. And as I said, this is going to revolve around one of my favorite stories, a little story you might know called Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, we have a main character. That main character's name is, want to take a guess? <laughs> Very good. Jack. Yes. So, whenever I say the word Jack, that is your cue to strike a super pose and say, Boy, do I love an adventure. Let's give it a try. Jack. Very good. Let's try it again. This time I'll do it with you. Jack. Boy, do I love an adventure. Amazing. Also in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, we have another character. That is Jack's mom. And he lives with his mom on this farm where they, where they live together. And so anytime that you hear the word mom, I would like you to strike a pose where it looks like you're looking in the distance. You can use either hand you want and say, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Let's give it a try. Mom, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Jack, boy, do I love an adventure. Good. Sorry, let me do it right. Oh, how I love an adventure. That's what it was. Oh, how I love an adventure. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Right, good. Got a little mixed up there. It happens. I'm an adult. I'm only human. All right, good. Next, in the story, we also have another character. This next character is actually my favorite character, and that is the character of a cow. So anytime you hear the word cow, that is your cue to make a cow pose and a cow face and say, mmm. All right, let's give it a try. Nice and neutral. And cow. Very good. Next, when you hear the phrase magic beans, that is your cue to pretend that you have a palm full of magic beans and you're going to drop them on the ground and say, magic beans, magic beans. All right, let's give it a try. Magic beans. Magic beans, magic beans. Good. Cow. Mm -hmm. Jack. Oh, how I love an adventure. Mom. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Very good. Next, we have another element to our story, and that is the magic beanstalk. Whenever you hear me say beanstalk, that is your cue to climb an imaginary beanstalk, one little rung, I guess, at a time. And while you do, you're going to sing, climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk. All right, let's give it a try. Beanstalk, climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk. Magic beans, magic beans, magic beans. Cow, 
Mm -hmm. Good. Doing good? Excellent. Let's keep going. All right, we've got two more. Next, when you hear the phrase giant, that is your cue to make your best giant body and take two steps while saying, fee fi fo fum Good, yeah, and really play with that giant voice, all right? Here we go, let's give it a try. Giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Jack. Oh, how I love an adventure. Mom. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Magic beans. Magic beans, magic beans. Beanstalk. Climb, the beanstalk. Climb, climb, the beanstalk. All right, very good. We've got one left. When you hear the phrase... Magic harp. Excuse me, golden harp. It's a magic beanstalk, it's magic beans, but it is a golden harp. When you hear the phrase golden harp, you are going to pretend that your body is a nice golden harp. You are going to pluck the strings in front of you and sing golden harp. All right, let's give it a try. Golden harp. Golden harp. Excellent. All right. I think you got it. Let's jump in, and I'm going to hold my cue sheet. This actually has my cues, so I know what they are, so that I don't mess them up. All right, ready? Here we go. Stand up nice and tall, straight and neutral. Here begins our story adventure. Remember, any time you hear the cue with that character's name, you will strike that pose. All right. <clears throat> Jack and the Beanstalk. I guess I should have said, Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, and the Beanstalk. Climb. The beanstalk. Climb, climb. The beanstalk. <laughs> All right. Starting now. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, is a poor little boy who lives in the forest with his mom. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, and his mom. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Live on a farm with his best friend, a cow. But one day, the cow doesn't produce any more milk. Jack's, oh, how I love an adventure. Mom, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Tells him to go sell the cow in the market for money and food. When Jack... Oh, how I love an adventure! Is on the way to sell the cow. <laughs> he meets a mysterious stranger who tells him that he has some magic beans. Magic beans, magic beans. But uh, that grow really tall and will provide a huge bounty. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure! proudly shows his mom, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? The magic beans. Magic beans, magic beans. But she becomes very upset with him and throws the magic beans, magic beans, magic beans, out the window. His mom, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? Then sends Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, to bed with no dinner and no dessert. The next morning, Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, wakes up and realizes that the magic beans, magic beans, magic beans, sprouted into a giant beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk that reached all the way up to the sky. Curious as to what was at the top, Jack, Oh, how I love an adventure. Climbs up the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk. Climb, climb the beanstalk. And discovers a huge castle. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure. Enters the castle and sees a big, mean-looking giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure. Decides to steal a bag of gold when the giant fee fi fo fum is asleep. He runs out of the castle and tosses the bag of gold all the way down the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk. Climb, climb the beanstalk. 
he goes back into the castle and steals a chicken and then throws that all the way down the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, thinks that he can maybe get away with one more little bit of thievery. And so he sneaks back into the castle, past the sleeping giant, fee fi fo fum and sees a beautiful golden harp. Golden harp. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, had never seen anything as beautiful as that golden harp. Golden harp. And when he grabbed it, it let out a beautiful melody, but one that was very loud. The giant Fee fi fo fum. Hearing the golden harp, golden harp, awoke from his slumber and saw Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, trying to sneak away. He quickly jumped up and chased Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, back to the beanstalk, climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk. And Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, quickly climbed down with the golden harp. Golden harp. The giant, fee fi fo fum also started climbing down the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk. And Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, quickly and fast as he could, climbed down to the very bottom. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure, who was much faster than the giant, fee fi fo fum quickly ran to get his mom. Where, oh, where is that boy of mine? And had her get a big saw. Together, they cut down the beanstalk, climb the beanstalk, climb, climb the beanstalk, before the giant, fee fi fo fum could come down. And he fell all the way down to the ground. Jack, oh, how I love an adventure. And his mom, where, oh, where is that boy of mine? And the golden harp, golden harp, lived happily ever after. But as for the giant, fee fi fo fum. Well, that's a story for another time. That was our Jack and the Beanstalk Q Storytime Adventure. That was so much fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. You can practice and get so good at that. Or if you have a story that you want to turn into an adventure game, you can do the same thing. You can start with fables like Little Red Riding Hood or The Three Little Pigs. What a fun activity to try and write that out and then come up with the cues for what those characters might do. I would love to hear about it. Anyway, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.